Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's online Sunday school and online kids talk. We are in the season after Pentecost. Pentecost uh, started with the liturgical color of red, and now we are in ordinary time, which is the color green. My Grammy always used to say that green was her favorite color because it was God's color. Why do you think that might be? I think it was because all of the beautiful things that grow on our earth and create uh, nutrients for the food chain that we live in are, um, are green. That's a little off topic though. What I'd like to talk to you today about is family. And in today's story, we are talking about Jesus's family. Now, there are all different kinds of families. All families are different and all families are important. Jesus says that everyone is in his family. So let's read today's story. And unfortunately, I don't have a fun version of it. So I'm just going to read it from my Bible. Um, but I'll read you today's story and then we can have a quick chat about it. Then Jesus entered a house and again a crowd gathered so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, for they said, he is out of his mind. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, he is possessed by Beelzebul. By the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. So Jesus called them over to him and began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan opposes himself and is divided, he cannot stand. His end has come. In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. Truly, I tell you, people can be forgiven all their sins and every slander they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. They are guilty of an eternal sin. He said this because they were saying he has impure spirit. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him and they told him, Your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mother and my brothers? he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, here are my mothers and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. That was from the Gospel according to Mark. How many people did you hear in the story were in Jesus' family? We don't really know because the Bible doesn't tell us. But Jesus says that whoever does the will of God is his brother and sister and mother. Do you remember what Jesus' mother's name is? Think back to our nativity story. It's Mary. Imagine you were in the crowd that day and Jesus looked at you and said, you are my brother or you are my sister. How would you feel? And what would you do? I don't know how I would react to that, but I also am very aware of in my life, um, a lot of my closest friends are like brothers and sisters to me. So I think that if Jesus, who was a stranger, came up to me and said, you are my brother or sister, I would think, oh, this person really wants to make good friends. There are lots of stories about crowds following Jesus. Have you ever been in a crowd? Who were you following? I would say that if I was in a crowd following somebody, it would probably be my parents that I was following because we were going somewhere together. And if I were little, I would have been following them. How about you? So for today's activity, you are going to create a family favorites poster. So I want you to draw pictures or write phrases describing your family's favorite food, places to visit, animal, 
movie, game, store, holiday, season of the year, activity, anything goes. What are your family's favorite things? And then if you'd like, you could share in photos of those posters in the comments below. So thank you for being with us today, part of your faith family. Even though we're online and we're separate, we are all part of the same faith family. So let's end in prayer together. Jesus, it's so amazing and cool to be part of your family. We are your brothers and sisters. Our families are all part of your family. Help us to do what you want us to do as part of your family. Amen. Remember, we love you here at St. John's. God loves you. And we'll see you next time.